when we talk about when we hear the term scale used, I think I know for some of the customers that we have, when they hear the term scale, I think it makes them concerned a bit because scale seems the seems the goal of scale is efficiency, but there are some times where I don't necessarily want a solution to be efficient. I want it to be able to I want there to be kind of patience built in to navigate or take your time through certain challenges. So how do you give, how do you create performance that leverages or takes advantage of scale while also being able to have the support to the customer that is patient enough to help them through challenges that you really can't do efficient, efficiently, you have to take your time with them? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. And, uh, you know, part of this takes those cloud principles Saeed, mm -hmm. again brings them to networking if we think about think about like your office 365 account you have the ability i have the ability to opt into that early developer release what you and i are doing when we do that we are becoming the beta testers for that cloud model mm -hmm. i don't know if you've ever heard of or your audience ever heard of a b testing or canary testing mm -hmm. right but that model is cloud native that model mitigates risk that model mm -hmm. makes sure things are baked before we roll it out everywhere. That model ensures that there's some level of maturity to the approach, right? And we've taken that same model to, you know, delivering these, these outcomes at speed and scale, right? Mm -hmm. That's number one. And what I mean by that is let's innovate in the cloud first, you know, let's implement a microprocesses type architecture, you know, on the APs and switches so we can update update control plane stuff without there being a hit. You know, let's do this canary testing to make sure that we rolled out small number of customers first, then a large number, then, you know, um, you know, the rest of the, um, you know, community. And we're doing things like pre and post snapshots to make sure that these changes take effect the right way. And the network post the upgrade looks like the network or is behaving like the network pre the upgrade, but with the extra enhancements and clients that should be connecting are still, still being connected and security still working the same way. All of that automation is built into this to enable some level of speed. And the reason that speed's important and the way we do it is important is there's another concept out there that I think is important that a lot of our customers um, suffer with, and that's called the consumption gap. Consumption gap is if you remember that slide that we first showed with all of those different software versions, hardware versions, et cetera, there's a bunch of features, capabilities, best practices, tuning, everything else behind the scenes for each one of those elements. Mm -hmm. And those vendors to compete in the marketplace, they're releasing innovation and new capabilities quickly. And it's not yeah. just new capabilities to enhance security, maybe some to enhance performance, maybe some to enhance interoperability from new devices. Maybe it's some to um, enable new business use cases, but some of it, Saeed, is actually bug fixes too, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I can't tell you how many customer environments that I've been in where, you know, they put this level of investment in, but they're X number of major versions behind, X number, you know, Y number of minor revisions behind, Z number of patch revisions behind, and they're not able to actually consume all of that innovation because of time, resources, budget, expertise. Because a lot of the focus in these organizations should be on the strategic business initiatives that matter, like in schools, you know, enabling the classroom of the future and helping staff with e-learning applications and ensuring that there's a great student, you know, experience or whatever the initiative or, or securing the environment to lower risk and lower cyber insurance premiums. All of these should be strategic things that I'm focused on. But if I'm stuck trying to do bug scrubs, trying to do patches, to make sure my network is not, you know, encountering a bug that was fixed two years ago, or I don't have the latest interoperability enhancement to enable interoperability with the new iPhone, or you know, deal with how Intel chipsets deal with 11R or whatever it might be, then my network is suffering, and I've been spending too much time trying to keep the lights on instead of focusing on the things that matter, right? This consumption gap problem, we need to fundamentally fix. And if you think back at cloud and what I was talking about with IaaS, you don't worry about that anymore. Right. The network's always capable of meeting the pace of your business. The network is always optimized or the you know, in in our world, it's the network, but in the, in the Amazon world, it's storage compute. But it's always optimized based on the what we've learned, not just in your environment, but across environments to make sure that your network is, is taking advantage of 
fixes, optimization, enhancements, et cetera, that are applicable in your world that we've learned across the, the install base, right? That balance of speed to ensure that you're getting the value out of the network that you need to make sure it's keeping up with your business needs and it's problem free and the mature process innovated in the cloud that we've just adopted here, that's what's critical. Mm -hmm.